Mary Roy fired back when Trump used the Shangri Lost music on the campaign trail. They influenced Blondie, New York Dolls, Amy Winehouse, and countless other bands and artists. They broke up after just a few years. They looked different from most girl groups. They looked different from most girl groups. Mary Weiss was almost arrested for using the wrong bathroom. Mary Weiss was almost arrested for using the wrong bathroom. They turned down would-be suitors from the Beach Boys and the Zombies. The members of the Shangri Lost were attractive young women, and many men were interested in spending time with them. Twisted sister vocalist G. Snyder summed up their charm. They were wearing leather jackets, and they looked tough too. They didn't look like good girls. They looked like the girls all the bad guys wanted. Mary Weiss says plenty of guys put the moves on them, but that they just weren't interested. We went to dinner with a few of the beach boys and hung out with the zombies in England and New York, but did not date any of them. They let off steam by breaking China and setting off fireworks. Mary Weiss remembers going to a party at Dusty Springfield's place while the Shangri Lost were on tour promoting Leader of the Pack. The singer had a unique way of dealing with frustration. She would go out and buy boxes of china with the sole purpose of hurling it all against a wall. Springfield showed Weiss how it was done, and soon all the Shangri Lost were breaking plates at the Brooklyn Fox Theater. They had these long corridors that echoed and we would stand at one end and throw plates to the other. We would let off a lot of steam that way. That was how I met Marvin Gaye. He was trying to get out of his dressing room. He stuck his head out and all of these plates went flying past his head. The girls were known to set off fireworks as well and play pranks on their fellow musicians like changing the sign on Marvin Gaye's dressing room door to read Marvin's Gay. Mary Weiss got in trouble with the FBI for her handgun. The Shangri Laws got a lot of attention from adoring fans, but being in the spotlight means becoming vulnerable to shady characters, especially when you're a young woman. While the girls were on tour, someone tried to break into their hotel room. In response, the frightened Mary Weiss, who was just 16 at the time, bought a gun for protection. So far, so legal. But then, the tour moved on to another state, and Weiss inadvertently broke the law by transporting the firearm across state lines. A result? The FBI paid a visit to her mother in Queens. She must have loved that Weiss later quit. They were backed by a young Iggy Pop. In the mid-60s, the high school student soon to be known as Iggy Pop was a member of a band called the Iguanas, hence his name. The Iguanas joined the Shangri Loss on stage and backed up the girl group with Iggy on the drums. Years later, he remembered playing with the Shangri Loss, my cover band. Had a professional engagement the summer that we graduated high school at a teen club called the Ponytail in Northern Michigan. They served cokes, and a lot of big acts came through. I got to play drums behind the Shangri Lots, the Crystals, the Four Tops. Learned a lot. Mary, the lead singer of the Shangri Lots, had a really beautiful head of hair. And I just remember being very happy in the back, you know, playing TS, 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 while she was going, remember, walking in the sand. They performed with James Brown. 
and the Rolling Stones when they were still in high school. Imagine being a teenager dealing with the frustrations of school and parents and social life. Now imagine, in the throes of all of this, you open for acts like James Brown and the Rolling Stones. That's just what the Shangri Loss did in the mid 60s. But they seemed to take it all in stride even when they had an awkward first meeting with Brown. When he saw them, the famed R&B singer burst out laughing. He had assumed from their music that they were black and had in fact hired them for an intended all-black review. They signed their first record contract while they were minors. The industry came knocking early for the young Shangri Laws. Betty Weiss was 17, Mary Weiss was 15, and Marge and Mary and Ganser were 16 when their parents signed them with Redbird Records in 1964. The meeting came about thanks to a producer named George Shadow Morton. He had been looking for a new group, and when he heard about the girls singing in Queens, he went to check them out. Morton was so impressed that he convinced them to come and record a new song of his, Remember Walking in the Sand. Redbird executives liked the girls' sound enough to bring them on board. Their tough girl image was genuine. Their tough girl image was genuine. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.